Hey everyone, what's up? It's Babylonius from PeakOfSerenity.com uh, here with a uh, kind of a response to um, the situations of last night. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, yesterday Blizzard had the AMA, um, the class developer AMA or class design AMA, AMA whatever they wanted to call it. Um, I posted a ton of comment of questions and stuff and uh, we got some less than desirable responses. Um, the first response really, um, you know, they, they, they answered two of our questions in a more reasonable fashion, um, but the major scaling questions that were kind of important really was met with um, a very disappointing, um, you guys just want more damage kind of response. Um, I was very upset last night. Um, there is a, uh, another video, like I said, this is really largely in response to my previous video. Um, you know, uh, upon waking up, you know, it almost was, I almost felt a little bit hungover, um, you know, for lack of a better term, uh, after kind of the stress and the drama and the anger, um, that happened yesterday, um, to give a little bit of background, you know, I spent six, maybe eight hours, um, providing, you know, getting stuff together, for the AMA, prepping for the AMA, getting questions from everybody, getting data and stuff to, to support our questions. Um, and it wasn't necessarily um, well received. Um, you know, Reddit now is kind of a flutter with uh, people complaining about how the AMA went. Um, and, you know, and people like Babylonius and, and some of the other spec writers that uh, monopolized, you know, or went over and above or whatever. And that's fine. I get it that typically AMAs are, you know, hey, Channing Tatum, what was your favorite movie you worked on? Or, uh, you know, hey, Wiz Khalifa, you know, what's your favorite color? You know, um, and they got a question like that. Hey, what kind of cookies do you guys like? And um, there was an answer to that one. And that kind of infuriated a lot of people. Um, you know, but upon waking up and, and watching back... Um, you know, a, ch a chunk of my stream from last night and the video that I posted to YouTube, my 50 minute rant video, you know, discussion video about it. Um, you know, I was kind of disappointed in myself. Um, I've always tried to hold myself to a higher standard um, and stay calm and respond maturely and all that stuff and professionally. Um, even when there are issues and, and last night I didn't and, um, you know, really people really liked that, you know, people like angry. Um, that's why Stephen A. Smith has a job on ESPN. Um, cause they couldn't, cause I guess ludicrous wasn't angry enough. Um, you know, but the, the response, the first response that we got from Sigma was infuriating, you know, and I talked about it in my stream last night about how, I felt that it basically was him. It was a very kind of canned uh, default response to any time somebody is asking about, you know, damage increases or stuff like that. Um, you know, so I, I got quite frustrated with that. And, and as I explained it in my stream, I became more and more frustrated and... Uh, and angry and all that stuff, um, you know, and really kind of let my emotions get the better of me. I put a lot of effort um, into the AMA and was disappointed and heartbroken, you know, and stuff like that. And, and waking up this morning and seeing people, you know, really some people, and it's, it's definitely the vocal minority, um, but seeing people be relatively annoyed, um, you know, with how I went about things and how long my questions were and stuff like that. And I have no intention of apologizing for that. Um, Windwalkers for a long time and, and many specs as a whole have been lacking a lot of communication with Blizzard. We posted thread after thread, hundreds of replies on their official forums, class development forums, PTR feedback forums. We have tweeted them en masse, you know, but always d tried to do so respectfully and maturely, at least that's the way that I, I've always asked people to try and do it. Um, and I do have, you know, I guess I have a little bit of power over the monk community and, and influence. And 
um, you know, so I do kind of try to guide it in um, the right direction. Um, you know, I went through, as, as is showing up on the screen right now, I went through and found a lot of data going back years, um, you know, to show that for one reason or another, wind walkers have historically scaled poorly or fallen off as a tier went on. Um, and that was, I thought, well put together, um, well explained. I was consistent in my data, which is fine. And the first response felt, felt very much like, you know, fuck the work that you did. You're wrong. Um, we have the right stuff, but we're not telling you what it is. And it felt very copy and pasted, um, you know, like they saw that, you know, I had asked about increasing Windwalker damage and, you know, they kind of latched onto that as opposed to really focusing on the scaling part, which really was the most important. Um, you know, so I, I, I got angry. I, I started swearing more on my stream and, and people, I mean, we were up to almost 400 viewers on my stream last night because I was angry, because everybody was angry. And I was kind of expressing um, the way that, they felt and I always try to stay calm and stuff like that so I'm sure it was entertaining as hell um, to see me uh, get so riled up um, but you know like I said upon waking up I was disappointed in myself um, I felt that I let myself down and my position down I felt that I potentially negatively hurt any chance for um, reasonable communication between us and the developers. Um, and I felt that the Monk community, you know, as a whole really kind of fed off of that. And it became somewhat um, of an echo chamber um, where I was getting angry, other people were angry, we were kind of feeding back and forth. Um, you know, I know a lot of people had posts removed on the Reddit thread and downvoted, you know, Sigma stuff, you know, and, and all that, um, you know, which is fine, you know, um, but it wasn't the way that I would have liked for things to have gone. Um, you know, although as, as somebody mentioned in chat, don't forget the sound effects. And I do not apologize for the sound effects. The sound effects were fantastic. Um, but... It's always the one of the reasons why. Well, I, I'm a teacher by by trade. My my parents were teachers. Um, I've grown up around schools. I've dealt with teachers. I've dealt with parents. Um, you know, from the from the other side, um, I've been around administration and stuff. So I understand what gets things done. And I understand that a lot of people, especially in internet communities, believe that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And that's fine. And there's certainly a level of truth to that. Um, but that's never been my preferred way of doing things. And um, that was kind of how I went last night. And I, I, you know, I, in my anger, I reposted all the questions on the class development threat, you know, forums and stuff, which is fine. I, I don't believe I was sarcastic or snarky at all there. Um, I may have sent one snarky tweet about um, offering cookies um, you know, or something for, for attention, but really, um, what's important to me is monks and, and Windwalker monks, but monks as a whole. And, and that we, and that our concerns are heard. I pour hours and hours of time, days of time into spreadsheets and guides and discord and all that stuff to help everybody. And I have tried to, from my position, um, do that with a certain level of decorum, with the hope that if Blizzard takes notice and they say, oh, this guy, this guy is somebody we could talk to. He is respectful. He is mature. He's professional. We know we're not going to get flamed. Um you know, by him and stuff like that, you know, so that's kind of what I've always had in mind. If I was a teacher, if I was someone in a position of power and a parent came to me 
freaking out, I wouldn't be inclined to help that parent. But if someone came to the to me with with a parent, a parent came to me and said, "My child is really struggling. You know, these are what they're struggling with. Can you help them with this? Here's some things that might help. Stuff like that. I would be so much more apt to understanding and helping that parent. Um, and last night, I I took the low road um, compared to what I've previously done. And I I didn't stoop to name calling. You know, I don't think I may have. Um, I kind of. Like I said, I kind of felt like I was, I'm hung over um, after last night. Like almost I was kind of drunk in a haze through the whole thing. Um, you know, but, and, and in, in the heat of the moment, I think my response was called for. I think it was still within reason. Um, you know, I didn't ask everyone to go tweet all over the place and, and attack the forums and stuff like that. You know, I, I di- was able to keep my head about me, but... Because of some of the feedback that I got from some of the other people on Reddit and other communities, you know, and ge- generally most people are positive. They are behind our cause. Windwalkers have become or are becoming kind of the flag that people are waving um, in. Um, I'm trying. Uh, 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 the only analogy, the only thing I can think of is in in, in the musical Les Miserables. Uh, they're looking for a symbol to express their anger and their frustration with how they're being treated um, before the start of the French Revolution. And they choose the red and the black flags. And Windwalkers, at least temporarily, and probably temporarily, it is the internet, things fade quickly. Um, You know, but Windwalkers are kind of at the moment the flag um, that people are waving and say, now hold on a second, they're trying... They're being respectful. They provide data, you know, and stuff like that. They did everything the right way, above and beyond the call of duty. And for lack of a better term, got shit on. You know, so um, that's fine. Because the first response really was like that. I, we felt very, and I did, I felt disrespected. I felt that I had put hours of time into it, and even though their post was long, it seemed very much copy and pasty. Um, you know, like there's a memo that says anytime somebody uh, mentions their class needing more damage, send them this note. You know, it was impersonal, it was irrelevant really to the question and the data that I supported. Um, you know, so I was upset, and I reacted, and other people reacted, and I did get uh, kind of a list of names of people who um, may have taken things a little bit too far. Uh, So if you're listening, you probably know who you are uh, in terms of behavior on Reddit. um, And to a lesser extent in, you know, whatever happened with the Mage Discord, I was at dinner, um, you know, celebrating my birthday, which is today. But we went out to dinner last night with my sisters and... uh, you know, so I don't really know what happened in the Mage Discord. Uh, one of their admins, you know, messaged me and said everything was fine, so I let it be. Um, you know, but I've tried a lot through my position in the community to guide things in a positive path and to guide things um, maturely and respectfully so that when it comes the time like this situation and we are ignored and... Uh, we are not given the respect and the time that we feel that we may deserve. People can't say, yeah, but you were kind of an asshat. You know, right now, um, right now, we collectively and myself as well, we were kind of asshats, you know, for, for lack of a better term um, in how we handled some things. Um, you know, but... To a certain extent, it's justifiable. I mean, the reason that my posts were so long was because this was months of posting on forums and and tweets and stuff like that with little to no communication. So when they said, here, come communicate with us, I came running. I prepped all morning. I prepped most of the night before. I was ready with 19 questions for Windwalkers 
half at least half a dozen for for Miss Weavers, and at least half a dozen for Brewmasters collected from the community. I mean, I went all out. I was not going to be ignored. I was not going to be outdone. And I accomplished that. I knew they were not going to answer all of the questions. I knew they were not going to answer most of the questions. But what was important to me was that they saw it and that we could not be ignored. And in that sense, it was a wild success. Um, what I did and what the Monk community put together, because I posted the questions, but really the majority of them came from you guys. So... I just worded them, you know, I, I tweaked some wording, um, the scaling stuff was your concern and most of my wording and my work, um, but, you know, it was a community effort. So, if Blizzard is kind of put off by the AMA experience, then that's fine. I understand that. I, I, I do. I, I sympathize with them. They put themselves in what was essentially a no-win situation where no matter what, they were not going to please everybody, people were going to be upset, and it just so happened that Windwalker monks were the ones who were the most upset. Um, you know, so, you know, I get that on Reddit, typically when they say AMA, ask me anything, they are short, concise questions. And I certainly did not provide short and concise questions. So I hope if they do that again... I will know that. I will, you know, if they want detail, they can do, you know, this week we're going to cover Windwalker Monks, or this week we're going to cover Monks. You know, like, they could cycle through that. That would be fantastic. Because then they could take the time to really delve into each of these specs in these classes. Um, but they said, ask me anything, and I did. So I don't at all apologize for the work that I did and for the work that we did. Um... And, and stuff like that. But I understand that they were put in a no-win situation and things may have gotten out of hand. You know, so I do feel at least mostly compelled to apologize, to, you know, say that I, I clearly misunderstood the culture or the unspoken rules, you know, about Reddit, even, even the spoken rules. You know, um, I made the mistake of linking the AMA to Discord without using the NP before the URL, which prevents people from, um, you know, upvoting and downvoting. You know, that was my mistake. I wasn't aware it was something I could have done. In hindsight, I certainly would have done that. But in terms of promoting the AMA, in terms of spreading it to the monk community, I can't apologize for that because we, we, we were given an opportunity to express our concerns and blizzard said we will listen and i took that opportunity i wasn't gonna miss it um you know so i can't apologize for that i can apologize for how angry i got last night i can i feel i should apologize for the very poorly done article on peak um you know that i will be redoing um you know, if not removing the previous one, because it just was overly dramatic. You know, was it cathartic and a lot of fun to adapt the the uh, We Shall Overcome speech from Independence Day for Windwalkers? Of course, it was a ton of fun, and people loved it. You know, but my Twitch stream, the content I provide, is meant to be informative and entertaining. And last night, it really was just entertainment. And, you know, I only had a couple people come up to me, you know, or in, in PMs and stuff and say, you know, dude, you're kind of getting a little much, you know, um, you know, this doesn't seem like you and stuff like that. And that's fine. And they have the right to say that I was I had the right to be upset and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, what happened happened. Um, you know, I hope that I, I did, you know, as best I could send. Um, messages to um, you know some of the developers I can't do it directly but hopefully through other channels and stuff you know apologizing for how things were handled um, you know and hoping that 
they will do it again, you know, or that increase, this will increase communication. And at least at the very least that they will see that there is something here. Um, because we might not see any results from this AMA and all the stuff, all the work that we did for weeks. Um, some of the issues might take days and weeks just for them to implement. Some might be better planned at like the next major mechanical changing patch, you know, seven, three, five or whatever, you know, that's fine. But the point I wanted to make, and the reason I did all this was because when it comes time for them to do that, they're not going to be able to say, I'm sorry, we didn't know there was a problem. They're not going to be able to say, you guys never told us, or, you know, we have different data. Um, you know, that they're not going to be able to do that. And I would love to have more communication with the developers, even just personally. I mean, I did a whole podcast about how I would love to just be, whether publicly or privately, the liaison between the Windwalker community and the developers, or the Windwalker community and the community managers and stuff, because I understand that their job is difficult, and I am more than willing to help. I don't need to get paid. I just would like a way of saying that when we have an issue, that it gets read. It doesn't need to get changed. Even, I mean... They could have gone and answered none of our questions and simply posted in response to mine or in response to others. We see a lot of your concerns. We don't have enough time to address them fully today, but we will be addressing them over the next blank time frame or in an appropriate, in a timely manner, in an appropriate time frame. That would have been fine. They could have taken, Ray could have responded to none of this and yet said, we hear your concerns We've written them down, whatever. We are aware of them. Thank you. We will get back to you as soon as we can. That's it. You know, that would have been fine. But the first response that we got became somewhat offensive. And I got angry. Everyone else got angry. And, and it got out of hand. Um, you know, so for that, I apologize to the developers. I apologize to the administrators and the mods of the WoW Reddit. Um, you know, I apologize to people who were just put off by the experience um, and in some way blame me and the monk community because of that. You know, I, I do apologize for how you were feeling. I do not apologize for what I did and how I did it because I feel that in the situation that was the best possible answer. I feel that I handled it with as much class and preparation as humanly possible. You know, so I don't apologize for that. I do apologize that maybe it was in the wrong venue. You know, but we have posted countless, art, you know, threads. You know, it wouldn't have gotten to this point if communication wasn't such a problem. You know, and if they walk away from this going, man, we didn't know about all of these issues. These guys are right. Then I find that to be a success. Um... You know, so, like I said, I apologize, but I do think what I did was right. And I do think what I did in the long run will benefit the monk community and will benefit Windwalkers and will benefit other classes and benefit and hopefully... Um, And hopefully at least show that they that they can be more involved. Um, you know, I'm hoping it didn't put them off to the fact that they're going to say, well, fuck these guys, they're crazy. You know, it was, the AMA, I want to say was a failure. It wasn't quite the failure, but it was a failure f from a community perspective and I'm sure from a developer perspective. Um so, you know, you kind of feel compelled to apologize for that. I hope they will try again. Um, you know, I hope that in the future there will be more rules and restrictions. You know, it, I hope it will say, please post one question at a time. Or, you know, be specific. It was a class design AMA. And some of the questions may have been more geared towards class balance. And I get that. And, 
you know, maybe it could have been handled better kind of on all accounts. So I hope that in, in the future it is used as an improvement. Um, you know, I hope Blizzard can see the error in their first response and we can see, you know, the error in somewhat how we handled things. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really what I have to say based on yesterday. Um, we did get a follow-up question, um, or follow-up statement, I should say, from Sigma. This was, this was done later, um, as I was laying in bed. Um, and this is a great response. You know, it's not the best response, but it's a good response. Um, you know, so what he did was he looked at, he, you know, this tells me he really looked at it because, you know, he provided his own you know, data and stuff like that to support support it, and that's fine. And that's great. So, so he followed up for us, and, you know, he, I mean, he, he acknowledged. You know, he said, you know, I know it was more of a general interest f philosophical post, and while I think this is still a discussion worth trying to have, it wasn't specific to this set of questions. He acknowledged, he said it previously, we all kind of glazed over it, but he did say, you know, it was more of a general response. And that was part of the problem. Um, you know, but he did come through on his discussion about the scaling. Um, and even recognized that probably if these had come in, in reverse order, um they would have been much better received. Uh, you know, so, yeah, so basically what he said was when looking at um, scaling questions, he said the two main things are is the conclusion and correct inference of the data empirically. And, you know, basically what, what I am saying, what I am arguing, is that actually based on the data? Does the data support that? And is there a mechanism to explain why that would be the case? You know, why is the reason wind walkers scale poorly? So, and to the first one, you know, is the conclusion I came to reasonable? And he said possibly. You know, and I think that's fine. He wasn't going to say, yes, you were correct. I understand that. Um, but he said possibly, and possibly is good enough for me. Um, you know, he did say, you know, that they, they do pay attention to Warcraft logs. And, you know, as I said, whatever the current popular sources, they do look at that stuff, um, you know, in terms of class balance and how things are playing out. So that was great to know that they acknowledge the data that I used. They acknowledge it as at least being worthwhile data, if not best, but worthwhile. Um, and that's saying that they use it on their own. Um, you know, obviously, you know, this is kind of annoying. I wouldn't say anything before 7.0 is informative due to heavy design changes, which is fine. And I understand that. But kind of the point was that even despite these heavy design changes, Windwalker has struggled to keep up as the tier went on. That was the point I was trying to make. Um, you know, so a lot of this was saying that, you know, kind of acknowledging that they already, they look at this data, they understand what it says. And that's fine. You know, that's enough for me, um, at least for the time being. So, in response to the second one, the why question. And then this felt, his response felt a little bit more like, um, and I put it in my response um, down here. You know, it does kind of sound like they're asking us to do their job. You know, and I said, providing reasons is obviously more difficult. And I'd be lying if this didn't feel a bit like you were asking us to do the developer's job and find the problem so you can easily fix it. But that aside... So basically what he said, you know, was, you know, poor gear scaling is too vague. And that's fair. You know, what does poor gear scaling mean? You know, how does it compare to other specs? And, and I think that's, that's fine. Um, you know, so he mentioned secondary stats. Is that important? Primary stats, you know, is that important? Kind of discussed a bunch of this stuff, you know, and what, and was looking for, you know, help or, you know, telling us, you know, if we're going to provide this information, you know, we have to try and look for the why beyond the what. 
Um, you know, so Panda responded phenomenally. You know, we talked about, you know, he talked about, the, you know, what I had said about uh, fights being shorter and AOE um, being shorter, you know, and stuff like that. So Windwalker's strength's really not uh, continuing as long. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, Pan was great in that. He also mentioned, you know, specifically about gear scaling. And, you know, they said that they, what they look at is how things scale based on versatility. And that's fine. Um, you know, maybe finding some way to scale things off of versatility might be a good idea. And that's something that I will explore. Um, you know, not, not scale, but compare, like right now we normalize everything based off of your primary stat, but the primary stat is not consistent through everybody. So what Sigma was saying was that versatility is consistent through everybody. It provides 1% more damage. And um, that's fine. The problem is, and as Panda pointed out, Windwalkers don't benefit from versatility at 100%. Because Touch of Karma and Touch of Death are not included, we get about 5% less of the value of versatility as others. Um, so... Yeah, so there is a disconnect, and, and I continued it, you know, in my post. You know, talking about the, f you know, the fact that verse and crit affect 90 to 95 percent of a windwalker's damage, mastery 80 to 88 percent, haste 65 to 75 percent, agility even, you know, 92-ish percent, weapon damage 13 percent, which is obviously a big issue, you know. But that was kind of. Um, you know, the point that I was trying to make, and I don't know the percentage of stats that affects other classes, you know, to be able to compare, but, you know, if we want to look at versatility as kind of the standard because it affects everybody equally, it doesn't affect Windwalkers equally, and it may not affect other specs equally. I don't know if other specs have something that isn't affected by versatility. Um, you know, so that's really part of the scaling thing, is that as stat budgets go up, if we are constantly getting only 90% of the value of the stat, any class that gets 100% of the value, or even 91% of the value of that stat, is going to get more out of the stats as they get higher. You know, and the difference between 90% and 91% of 100 stats is much smaller than 1,000 stats. So as the stat budgets go up on gear, that gap between Windwalkers and the other specs gets larger and larger. And that's what's important. So we included that. I, you know, I mentioned alternatives and, and ideas, you know, about the suggestions, stuff like that. So, you know, I know that they read this stuff. I know that they looked at it and stuff like that. And his response was sufficient. If this was the response that we got, we all should have been happy. You know, people wouldn't have been, but we could have been happy with this answer. And, and that's great. And the problem obviously was the first one, you know, in that it was more of a general response to a specific question and it felt insulting to Windwalkers. Um, you know, but <clears throat> the whole thing was, was handled poorly, kind of from top to bottom, left and right. Um, you know, so I hope we will get another opportunity. I, I would love if my passion came through to the developers and they thought that I would be somebody that they would like to be in contact with as somewhat of a liaison. Um, but I don't believe that's likely to happen. You know, um, that's kind of just a, a hope and a dream. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, if you're somebody who liked kind of that fire from last night, you're welcome. Uh, if you're one of the people who donated because I was all fired up, then thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you're one of the people who felt that it was out of character and weird, then I agree. And I apologize to you. Um, but it happened. You know, I, I, I don't know if I, you know, how I will handle, um, you know, what is already up there, whether I will pull down my other videos, delete the other articles or keep them up. Um, you know, but I do feel that they were unprofessional of me and, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I do kind of feel bad about how it was handled, um, you know, in, in every way that I have influence over, um, 
you know, so thank you very much for listening um, to this video. I know it wasn't quite as fiery um, or as entertaining as the previous one, but it was one that I, I it was important for me to make um, and take time out of uh, my birthday um, to do so. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative or whatever, uh, please let me know. Um, if you don't like the Zen, uh, the Calm Babylonius, then that's too bad. Um, you know, uh, if you like the fire, that's fine. Um, you know, if you only tuned in for my Twitch channel because I was upset and angry, that's fine. Um, you know, but I wish you, I would like, you know, wish you would, would tune in other times, um, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, because I try to be very helpful and informative, um, without stooping to the more stereotypical Twitch screaming, um, and bitching and moaning that gets people attention. Um, and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please support me through Patreon and PayPal. Um, support Peak of Serenity. Check out Peak of Serenity for all your monk needs. Um, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that's really it.